Hey boys, um, Semphis here. Just want to make a quick video on cheating and how long you should be banned. And I was browsing through some of the comments and some of the tweets, and basically, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, in real sports, people don't get banned forever. And well, I agree with, I mean, that is true. I don't think people realize that cheating in real life is a lot different than cheating in a video game. Um, in my opinion, the closest thing coming to cheating in Counter Strike to real sports would be taking um, stimulants like Adderall, meth, cocaine, something to give you like some more focus, something like that, because you know strength and that kind of stuff doesn't really matter for Counter Strike. You know, being strong doesn't really <laughs> affect anything. Um, but in the fact of like you know artificial cheating, like uh, like wall hacking, um, aimbotting, and that kind of thing. Basically, the best way I can compare it is, you know, if you were a professional boxer, MMA fighter or something, um, to cheat the same way in Counter-Strike in those sports, to make them comparable, you'd have to basically be Neo from the Matrix, you know, predict every punch before it happens, block every attack, um, you know, dodge everything, and then, you know, hit them when they're vulnerable. And obviously, there's nothing in real life that could mimic that, Um to be a great sport athlete, a lot of the time when they get caught using these things, they already are a great athlete. They already are at the top of their given sport, and they use these things to push them over the edge um, and give them a, a, an unfair advantage. And at the end of the day, most of these people are all on it anyways. Two wrongs don't make a right. That's not what I'm getting into. But in Counter-Strike, not everyone is cheating. <laughs> and... Uh, another another problem is that cheating is a lot, a lot more unfair in Counter Strike because if someone is wall hacking or aimbotting, like I said, it's it's a lot more unfair than you know just you know strength increase in real life or being a little bit faster or something like. You cannot compete with an aimbotter. You know what I mean? Like you literally can't. There's nothing you can do. Um, if the dude was blatantly aimbotting, you cannot beat him with the new aimbots they have. It's impossible. Like, everyone's been in a death match, uh, in a matchmaker, or something like that, where some dude just comes flying in, 360 aimbotting. Bam. I know most people aren't cheating like that, but you know what I mean? Like, if, if you were to compare an aimbot to a real sport, it would be like you went to some Olympic lifting or powerlifting meet, and someone lifted the weight with, like, a fake robot arm or something. So it's not even part of them but they lift it anyways um that's what an aimbot is it's not you don't do anything you don't have to put in any work to be good with an aimbot or wool hacks you know what i mean you you can literally not play the game ever and as long as you have basic understanding <laughs> you could log on and cheat now i know most people that get caught cheating aren't these type of people they're trying to hide it better they're not blatantly aimbotting but if you get caught wall hacking, aimbotting, any of these type of things, I know there's other cheats, but I'm going to keep these two because they're the most common. Um, if you get caught in a qualifier for a big tournament, a big LAN, online cheating, in a league cheating, that should never be forgivable because you are taking their LAN spots. Like, for example, tomorrow, I'm going to be playing in a qualifier for DreamHack Austin. Now... Is this the most important land of the year? No. Would I like to go to it? Yes. My team hasn't been to a land. It would be nice to go. Now, first, we have to play in the, the qualifier for the qualifier because we weren't invited. So we have to play versus a bunch of random people. Now, when the problem with playing a bunch of random people is that they don't really have anything to lose. You know, like one of these teams, some, there's been some people in these qualifiers we played that we're like, oh, we're not really sure what's going on, but they're fucking nuts. And we're not saying they're cheating or anything, but some of these people have like the craziest awareness. And if you get caught cheating in these things, I don't think you should ever be unbanned because it, it, it's one of those things where you're stealing people's um, league spots because, you know, if you got cheated out of a win or two, you could get relegated out of a league. If you got cheated out of, say the qualifier, some random person cheats me tomorrow. I then lose my chance to go to Dream Hour Austin, and I didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? I, I played the game. I put in um, six days in a row of practice. Um, to be honest, we can't scrim a ton because 
certain days there's less scrims than others but you know we've been putting in time putting in work going over maps you know putting in the time of going over maps is the most boring part too by the way so it's not like exactly fun um playing the scrims and stuff is great but <laughs> putting in the time you know before practice even starts watching demos and stuff isn't actually the most glamorous thing so putting in all this work to then just get cheated and knocked out um i don't really agree with it you know if someone got caught playing in a tournament you know, on cocaine or something versus me, would I be annoyed that I, that the guy had an advantage? Yes. Would I want him banned forever? No, I don't think someone taking cocaine is, th is that much of an advantage that we should permanently banned. But if a dude came in a server, aim botted me and I wasn't able to qualify for the ESL pro league because of it, because he doesn't get banned for six months or, you know, he beats you or another example is like, say you go to a major and you're playing in the group stage and you lose, you know, by like one or two rounds, you get knocked out. You lose your legend spot. Six months later, this guy gets banned for cheating. Well, he just stole a bunch of money from you, a bunch of prize money. And now you have to re-qualify for the land. So it's like it's a bigger deal than just, oh, well, you know, he cheated. You know, he'll learn his lesson. Like there's too much at stake to unban these people. You... Are, are giving them too much incentive to be able to just be like, well, you know what? I'm not really probably going to go pro anyways. I'm not that good enough. But if I get these private cheats, pay a little money, I could actually make a lot of money before I get banned, get unbanned later, and just redo it again. You know what I mean? Like, There's too much incentive for people that don't really have anything to lose to cheat. Whereas in a sport, um, let's say you want to be a professional... NFL player or like a power lifter or something like that. Now <laughs> to do this, you have to put your body through like rigorous training, exercising, diet protocols. And on top of that, you're then going to put in drugs that are harmful to your body um, that in the future could take years off your life. Um, now, when you do that, there's something at stake. You know what I mean? Like you, you still have to put in the work um, and you're actually putting things that negatively affect your body. Like, you know, cheating has no negative. You don't, you don't get fined. You don't get penalties. You don't go to jail. You don't, you don't lose much from cheating. You know, like there's no negative for it. So I just, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I'm too harsh on the cheaters. <laughs> I don't know. But personally, if I got caught wool hacking or aimbotting, I don't think I should ever be unbanned. I think like, especially if you're a pro player, if you are in even premier or above, you know, pro league, any of the top leagues and you get banned for cheating, you should never be unbanned. Should Joe that's 14 that cheated in matchmaking got back be permanently banned? No, I don't think so. Does should some kid that, you know, he just plays ESA pugs, he decides to cheat, make th things is a bad des decision. Um, makes a bad decision, gets banned, you know, you're literally, you know, I think you should be able to play again. I'm more talking, you know, professional semi-elite like players that are playing for money, playing for stakes, um, deceiving other opponents. Like those people should never be unbanned. It's just, it's just unforgivable. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Peace. Also for anyone that cares, I'm in my new place. So I don't have all my lights and everything set up. Um, I'll probably make a vlog on that about my new place once I got it set up, so peace.